Hey, 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 welcome to another Money Today. Got lots of news to go through today, but I just wanted to say, if you've been watching this channel for a long time, and you've decided on your own, of course, to uh, invest in the coins that we talk about here on this show, I've gotten uh, word from many of you that you're at all-time highs or doing pretty well, and I love to hear that because, you know, the market's been pretty down lately, but I wouldn't say I personally am uh, at an all-time high, but uh, this correction or whatever you want to call it didn't quite hurt me as badly as it did the market. I suppose a little bit of Oasis Rose has helped uh, help that out a bit, right? But anyways, it's a lot of fun and I hope you guys are all doing well. I just wanted to bring to your attention Blockchain Central Davos is coming up soon. And uh, you can register for the GBBC and you will get a lot of news from that. I think I've mentioned that before for you guys about this event. Of course, in, in light of the ongoing situation, it's going to be virtual. Powered by the Global Blockchain Business Council. Now, we've talked about this so many times and now we're seeing how it's kind of all getting intertwined. Here's the GBBC, and you see Accenture, Algorand, Hedera, Hyperledger, SDX, and sorry, Mitsu. A lot of these people we talk about quite a bit. It looks like uh, featured speakers. One is going to be Charles Hoskinson. We see a lot of the same old players. I will leave the link to this in the description if you guys want to go sign up. I'm sure some great news will be coming of it. Magnificence left me a nice little note saying I'm quite impressed with the coverage of Money Today Show provides, specifically as it pertains to Oasis. Well, I definitely am I'm not a fanboy of any coin. I want to make that very clear. So I'm going to give you the good and the bad when it comes. And you know, there's so many times that I've talked about coins, say like a Quant or an Algorand or something. And then the next video, I'll tell you, hey, I don't like this about them. And this is just how it's going to be. And I get some backlash for that. But I, I love being one of the true, one, one of the real independent channels out there. It's going to tell you the truth and what I really feel about something. And of course, like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I think, I, you know, I think we're bringing out some pretty good uh, information here. So of course, like, subscribe, all that. And let's move on to Oasis. Uh, JPS macro snapshot of Oasis protocol. A couple of things that caught our eye when looking into rows. So here is a, they use my mind map here and actually gave me attribution for that. So I appreciate that. And I will put this in the description. You can read it. It goes through a few things that I don't talk about when it comes to Oasis that I thought you guys should probably know. A, a few more technical things that I don't typically go into. So go ahead and go to the description and read this article. Something else, we recently welcomed Alliance Block as a new decentralized bridge that accepts Energy Web token to Energy Web. So Alliance Block and Energy Web. Now, I was expecting this. This isn't some surprise. Uh, there have been some trouble uh, for Energy Web token holders trying to get out of the old system here. I have never been a huge Energy Web guy. I learned about it from Chico Crypto back in the day, and you know he was always bringing out really good information at that time. It is something I always keep my eye on, and I know that we have some fans out there, uh, some of you, and uh, I will always keep an eye on it. But the fact that it's coming to Alliance Block is big news for me, because even if Ener Energy Web goes huge, probably help me out with Alliance Block. Something I always like to keep our eyes on is uh, China to create their own NFT industry based on state-backed blockchain infrastructure. Well, when they say that, it's generally going to be something that came from the West. As you know, if you've watched this channel for a long time, the digital infrastructure of China was built by Western powers, Western people, Western money. 
And that's just the back end, like things like Tencent and Baidu and Xiaomi. But in the front, when we look at uh, crypto, that's all based on Western ideas as well. And we've gone over this many times when it comes to this channel. I am guessing that this NFT structure will be based on stuff like maybe Ethereum or Cosmos. Because as we know, they already adapted Cosmos uh, as one of their chains. And that was permissioned. So we know that a lot of these so, so supposedly Western companies are working inside of China, helping them with their infrastructure. So I thought that was pretty funny. Today, join us for a new edition of Privacy in Cosmos. But yet they're working directly with China here. And I'm not saying this is a person who is anti-China. I am pro showing everybody what's actually going on. And do I want the Chinese system uh, brought over to the United States or to Europe or whatever? No, I don't, <laughs> frankly. And I would like to do anything I can to stop that if possible. But uh, as we've gone over many times, the BSN, Blockchain-Based Service Network, you see Hyperledger, Consensus, and here are the, the permissionless blockchains. You see Oasis here, Polkadot, Algorand, Ethereum, Near, Cypherium, uh, you know, all of the big ones are here. And technical partners, Daml, well, we know that is a digital asset who owns Hyperledger or supposedly gave it to the Linux Foundation. And you can see the founding members here, are all the big Chinese companies. Now, they're pushing this around the world. As a matter of fact, we just saw Chinese blockchain project BSN expands to Turkey and Uzbekistan. Now, they're already here in the United States, but they're moving these nodes all over the world right now. And here's one saying they moved into Turkey and Uzbekistan. Turkey has long played a role as a bridge between Asia and Europe, which brings up who is, you know, they're having a lot of financial trouble there in Turkey. Who's going to bail them out? Is it going to be Europe or China? <laughs> I have no idea, to be honest. Uh, what if you brought up Goldfinch? Uh, and, I, you know, I just did a really quick look into this. Bring crypto loans to the real world. And they had mentioned that several of the people came from Coinbase. And we see that's very true. But we also see Goldman Sachs and all kinds of other things. And this is very, very... And recent Horowitz centered because you look right here, we got Coinbase Ventures, of course, but then you've got Andreessen Horowitz. A Capital is Andreessen Horowitz, or it was the first employee or one of the employees from there. You see uh, Ariana Simpson, Andreessen Horowitz. You've got a lot of the same, same people here. So it is something that I think that we should keep our eye on. You can see right here. This is A Capital. Prior starting A Capital running was one of the first partners at Andreessen Horowitz. I did not see it on Polychain Capital, which is surprising for me, which makes me believe it probably won't be on Coinbase, or at least not anytime soon. Usually, usually things are on Polychain Capital. If I'm pretty sure they're going to be moved on to Coinbase soon, but Goldfit. Finch, GFI, you can see circulating supply is only 5 million compared to 114 million. But a pretty darn low market cap considering the people who are involved. Now, I do not know anything about this coin or tokenomics or what it's going to happen. I'm just showing you that the people involved in it are usually not messing around type of people. So something uh, keep your eye on. I think that's all I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to try and do this a few times a week, just kind of catch you up on the news and what I'm seeing going on in the market. And, uh, and I really appreciate all the interaction that's going on, people suggesting things, people talking about things, um, people sharing the videos, and I really appreciate that. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subs so we can start that Discord. So spread the word. Uh, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Love y'all.